Hey guys, it's uh, Adam Reichenthal here with the uh, Bob Mill Log. I'm also joined by Ben. Ben is uh, working on some robotics. He's uh, 16 years old. Ben, where are you from again? I'm from New Jersey, Hackenstein actually. Good stuff, man. Yeah. So tell me, man, uh, what were you building? I'm, well, I'm building a robot. It's Right now it's the fifth generation. One and two and three and four didn't really end well. But Got it. Five is looking good so far. So tell me okay. a little bit more about this robot. Is it just supposed to... Uh... Well, right now it's just got some obstacle avoidance code. Okay. Um, oh, but yeah. it's, it's complex, yeah. sort of, I guess. Um, give it up on see, fire. like, it Some looks point. side to side. Yeah. And then if it sees something on one of the sides, it will... Um, let me see if it's not responding now. But it will find the best path. My shirt's called it. Um, it'll find the best path, and then it'll take that path. Um, so I'm pretty proud of that, but I've got some big plans, GPS, RFID, I'm just going to slap that on there in the near future. Very cool. Very, very cool. Actually, the whole chassis of this thing was made on a Ratman. You mind if I take a closer look at sure, that? Sure, sure. Take a look at that really quick? Yeah. So, uh, how were you able to do that and uh, keep it from working? Well, I've, I used an interesting technique, actually. I used my school's AutoCAD to design the whole thing, but then I was like, all right, it's going to take... A, a whole day, 24 hours, and um, so I was like, my printer's not very good at keeping the warp down, just as a personal thing, but... Got it. Uh, so I took a little one millimeter pillar from the bottom, and then I said put raft under all of it, and um, so it had a one millimeter raft under this entire piece, and then I was just able to crack that off when I was done. Very nice. And, yeah. So, in addition to just being able to uh, sense the other things around it and also add some GPS and RFID, are you looking at any other functionality to it initially? Or? Um, well, yeah, it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm, I'm going to build on what I've learned so far and just more. I like it. I like it a lot. The, the, that was, this was actually the original reason I got one of these free bags. It was like, I, I need custom parts and I need a lot of them. It's going to cost a lot, a lot, a lot to be able to keep making them and making them and making them from like a machine shop. So I'm like, well, all right, what are my options? And then I went on letsmakerobots.com. That's actually where this head be headpiece is from. Uh, and they're like, oh, dude, you should totally get a MakerBot or a RepRap. And I'm like, all right, MakerBots aren't big enough to make what I need. So I'm like, oh, check it out. This RepRap, that's all my needs. So I took all my birthday money, and I'm like, yeah. These are a beautiful machine. I love them. So much. That's awesome, man. And how old were you when you first uh, made your app rap? Well, it's pretty much been an ongoing saga. I mean, it's been, uh, I, I, I think I was 14 or 15. So, but yeah. That's, that's absolutely amazing, man. Thank you. So, just to wrap up, Ben, beautiful yeah. robot. Thank really you. looking forward to uh, hearing how it progresses. I'd love to get your info later and uh, keep everyone else updated with uh, how it's going to go as it continues. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll keep it close. Thanks. Sounds great. Hey, Ben, thanks for your time. No problem.